Welcome back. This is TJ from Aquarium Tip Tank and today we're going to talk about acclimating the cleanup crew that I just purchased from my local fish store. Now we've already gone over the Doradon Aquarium Acclimation System that I have. Uh, if you go to the website uh, AquariumTipTank.com you can find a post about that and it is a system that you kind of hang on the back of your tank. You can see I have part of it up right there and you are able to float your bag in your aquarium at the same time as drip acclimating the livestock that you have purchased. So I have that hang up piece over there and as you can see right over here I have my bag full of cleanup crew and I have the rest of the items that I need in order to start the process of drip acclimating uh, this cleanup crew. Now if I were to have fish uh, what I would do is I would probably uh, have another tank for them kind of a uh, acclimation tank for them or a hospital tank for them if you will and I would put them in there for a few weeks uh, to acclimate them and make sure that they are free of diseases and everything else uh, but for just this cleanup crew I'm basically just gonna float the bag for a little while I will eventually turn off the lights but for now I'm gonna keep them on uh, so that you guys can see things and for right now I'm gonna you know show you how I do this so, with this Doradon Aquarium Acclimation System, you basically use the bag that your, clean, that your livestock came in. Now, what I'm going to do is I take this green piece right here, and I slide the bag through it to get down to a kind of decent portion in the bag where basically the bag is going to hang right from this piece right here. So you want the rest of it to be able to hang in your tank in order to acclimate for temperature and then and also to order in order to have some room to drip into it. So now what you do is you see this green piece right here has spikes on it. So I'm just going to wrap the bag kind of over those spikes and punch holes in the bag where those spikes are all around the edge of this green piece here. Now what that will do is make sure that the bag can be held up by this green piece. So I can lift the bag up with that green piece and set it back down and it is easily held with that green piece of this acclimation system here. So what I will then do is I'll take that bag and I'll eventually bring it over to my tank and I will hang it in the tank. It doesn't really matter how far it goes in there. It basically has to acclimate to the temperature. Now these guys have just been out of, you know, out of their home aquariums in the live fish store for about 20 minutes or so. Now this green piece will then hook up to the piece that I already have on the tank. So it'll hang in the tank pretty far depending on how big of a bag that you have. As you can see it's pretty well sunken in there. All the livestock is just in there right now kind of acclimating to the temperature of the tank. The next step is to fill the cup up that they give you, the drip cup. First you want to make sure that the nozzle is tightened and that it won't actually leak and drip anything from the tank and you want to fill it up with and here it is, and you want to fill it up with water from your tank And then what I like to do is I actually like to kind of test it. Open the nozzle a little bit, get it dripping at the rate that I want it to drip. That's way too fast right there. But I kind of 
kind of want it to drip so that, you know, it acclimates to the pH and, and the salinity and everything and, and all of the water conditions of my tank. And then you can just take that cup and place it right onto there. And it is now dripping right into the bag of livestock. In a minute, I'm going to turn the lights off. I have water dripping into there. The bag is still hung from there. And it's just acclimating all of the cleanup crew that I have to my water conditions. So now that that's going on, the next step is to turn the lights off. And I want to do this and leave the lights off for about 15 minutes, if not more. Basically, I set the drip rate up so that it will take about 15 minutes for all the water that I put in that cup in order to drip into the bag. Hello, we are back. Uh, the cleanup crew should be uh, acclimated pretty well to my water. The drip cup that we put up there to drip into the bag is uh, empty so all that water has dripped into the bag uh, everything's actually been acclimating for about 30 minutes I've turned the lights back on just a little bit so again I can see what I'm doing and it's time to get the uh, cleanup crew out of the bag and put them into my tank now, if this were a fish, the way that I would get them out is first, I would take this green piece off of here. I need a bigger opening so that I can get into the bag. So what I will do is unhook the bag from this green piece that allowed me to hang the bag on the tank. And if it were a fish, what I would do is I would use a net to go in there and get the fish out. Now I don't want to put any of this water that's in the bag into my tank because uh, some of it is foreign water from a different tank. Uh, that's why I would use the net if it were a fish. But for this cleanup crew, it's easy enough for me to just use my hand, for me to go in there and pick out each one and put it in the tank. So that's what I'm going to start doing. And there we go. So now all of the cleanup crew is in the tank. I will take the bag out and I will dry it off to keep from getting everything around here wet. And then I will transport it over to the sink, dump the water out and throw the bag out. As you can see, everything is in the tank. Everything seems to be moving around fairly well. and hopefully enjoying their new habitat. All right, I have a cleaner crew in. The next step will be fish and maybe a piece or two of coral. Again, this is TJ from Aquarium Tip Tank. Come on over to www.aquariumtiptank.com for some tips and tricks on enjoying your home aquarium.